Hello, welcome. Today I will be sharing my shaders with you. So I'm going to show you how to get them, how to install them, and the little things you can do with them. This has been a constant question for a very long time, so I figured this will make it a lot easier to share whenever someone asks, because it happens very often in my streams. I do not think my shaders are the best, nor are they trying to be. Uh, I'm not trying to make them the you know 4K ultra max settings of GTA 5, that's not the point. It's just simply a modern uplift to the game, something that runs smoothly and has good visibility. It doesn't really tank performance too much, but it also depends on your computer. Don't expect miracles, right? So you need a decent computer to run these at 60 FPS. And when it comes to troubleshooting, do not come to me for help. I am not responsible for any damages that you may encounter. I've never had a single issue with shaders myself, and the sources I mention are all trusted. I've been using mainly NVE shaders combined with Reshade, and in Reshade I have additional shaders from Otis or Immerse. It's uh, basically Reshade additions. These are paid shaders that you have to purchase. I will link the Patreons below that will grant you access. Please read each membership to make sure you pick the one that includes either early access or direct download to the mods, because some tiers are just supporter tiers and they don't give you anything. In this video, I do include Quant V. Uh, this video actually made me try Quant V because I encountered some problems and I wanted to test all variations. So I will include Quant V and maybe I'll even start using it. But that being said, there is a reason I don't really want to include Quant V very simply because you have to constantly and forcefully update it due to the annoying subscription methods they use. They put a little message on the top left of your screen every time there's an update. And so if you purchase Quant V right now, install it, and in a month's time a update comes out, you will need to be subscribed to the Patreon in order to purchase the new version because the old one that you bought is now rendered useless. And for that, I do not support them. I think it's comparable to the greed of EA which is saying something. However, you know, it is your choice. If you wish to do so, feel free. I will include a tutorial for both methods. So to start off, you go to the raised Patreon page and you go to memberships, purchase a membership and make sure you purchase one that includes early access downloads. Once you do that, you'll get an invite to the Discord, and inside that Discord, you will have access to channels that include the download links to NVE. The Patreon process is the same for Pascal and Quant V. It is very simple. You get the membership, you join the Discord, you download. And so once you purchase these memberships, you will continue to have access to the Discord and the download pages for an entire month, regardless of if you cancel the memberships instantly or not. Okay, to start off, you are going to download either NVE or Quant V, whichever one you're installing. It is very basic, very simple. You just download it, you extract, and you'll get a folder. You open that folder, put it to the side here, and then you open your 5M destination folder wherever it is installed. You can right click the shortcut and open file location. Then in 5M, you have 5M application data and here you will have two folders if you don't have them for example you can just create them mods and another one called plugins open mods so in the main package you have the mods folder you open it and select any RPFs that you want you should look into NVE and make that selection by yourself. In my case, I'm going to pick the main file, which you absolutely need, plus street lights and snowy mount. Copy, you paste that. You can back up from this. And now plugins, you copy everything inside plugins and paste it inside the 5M plugins. You can go back. There are optional add-ons. You can select any that you like. In this case, for example, Northern Lights. You copy it, put it into mods. And then the last folder, Reshade Shaders, copy everything inside. 
and that you put into plugins. Replace anything that it asks, and that is it for NVE. You can close this. And now open the Immerse. You extract it. Now you can copy these three files. You don't need add-ons. And you paste it inside the reshade shaders of 5M. Once that is done, you close this and you have the download that I linked below. These are my settings. Open it. You copy the shaders and textures and paste it into the 5M plugins. Now they will be here. You back up into plugins and there you paste NVE if you're using NVE or Quant V if you're using Quant V. This case is NVE, so I'm going to copy that and paste it. You are done and you can launch the game. Once you've launched 5M and joined the server, you'll be greeted with the changes that you just added. Now, NVE on its own is nice, but it definitely needs a little bit of pop. You use the key to open reshade, it's typically insert, and then you switch the preset at the top here on the arrow, you just click it, and this is the result. However, you still need to change a couple of in-game settings. Graphics. You need to have DirectX version 11. FXAA doesn't matter too much. MSAA, off. VSync I recommend off. Distance scaling, keep it high. Texture budget doesn't matter too much. Texture and shaders, very high. Shadow quality, I keep it normal just for performance. Reflection quality, very high. You can do high if you're having FPS issues. Reflection MSA off. Water, particles, grass, all optional. These three are optional. I do normal because it helps with FPS a lot on grass. Soft shadows, softer. Post effects, ultra. In-game depth of fields is optional. Anisotropic filtering, 16 times. Ambient occlusion, high or off. Desolation, normal or off, optional, both of these. After you've done the graphics settings, you want to move to display and make sure your brightness is set to the maximum. Now, with NVE, you do need to change some settings in Reshade. So open Reshade with insert. At the top here, you have multiple windows. We're gonna go through them. NVE, clouds, I recommend low quality and performance mode four. Optimized marching, just helps with performance. Then graphics, motion blur quality, high. You can do medium if you feel like it. Everything else I leave default. And then in shader, game, you have street light colors. You can click this and I, right now I have 175, 255, 255, blue. It doesn't really matter as long as it's color like this. That is it. You have NV working with Otis Reshade. So hopefully this helps anyone who's asking for my settings and what shaders I'm using. There you go. Hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitch. I do plenty of GTA content and I plan on doing much more. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.